Well, we are approaching the end of 30 Faces 30 Days. This is day 28. And today the tip has to do with not being afraid of color. Well, those of you who have seen what I like to do know that color is my favorite thing. The tool that I typically use when I come into Procreate is the paintbrush. And I wanted to use the paintbrush again but I wanted to use it in a different way. I sometimes use the paintbrush like you would a crayon and draw with it. And this time I really wanted to try using strokes to create planes of light and shadow. And that was one of the previous tips we had had. And so I did my very best to kind of think more in terms of shapes and shading as opposed to drawing the face. Near the end especially, I start to apply color as smaller strokes and I want to try and build the strokes of color together. And I have seen others use that technique so well where the individual strokes create such a beautiful textured and uh, really interesting effect and so that was uh, my goal in this and in some ways I was able to learn how to use some smaller strokes and put them together but I kind of reverted back to some old habits and I want to really try again to uh, work on some brush stroke work that is more uh, possibly more related to what you would do if you were doing oil paints. I do love the look of oil paints, but I have not really used them very much, except for in my early days, I did some toll painting, which is a completely different kind of an art. Um, but they do require some chemicals and things I just really am not as interested in using. But Procreate has gone to quite a lot of effort to replicate the feel of oil paints by their paintbrush tools and how they allow the color to actually mix on your canvas. So you get somewhat of a feeling of what it feels like to paint. Now since I'm not an experienced oil painter I can't say that it is a really direct correlation to what oil painting would be, but it's close enough for me. As I come along, I realize, oh my goodness, we're supposed to be uh, learning about color and not being afraid of it. And so I begin to try and apply some additional color to my portrait. And I went with my old favorite red, a favorite color of mine. All in all, I'm really happy with this portrait. I think I learned a lot and I'm pleased with a lot of things about it. I see lots of areas I can improve, but overall, it was a good day of painting. Thanks for joining me in my studio, and if you like what you see, please hit the like and subscribe button.